Hello guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build ramp amplifier or WAMP, however you want to call it. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Pat, Aeol, Edo, and Sven for helping me with this design. Uh, yeah, and also uh, a huge thing: if you're doing this build, make sure that your AFK spot is somewhere on the south side of the amp of the middle like of the middle of this amplifier it, you can, it can be like behind valley, behind hill but if you have it on devil it shouldn't work for you cause smash is gonna break through this little block over there, over there and it's not gonna be good also if you afk on middle uh, I'm gonna show you how to, how to deal with that later but first of all we're gonna have two walls on both sides both are gonna be with a wall art with reload speed, this one then you're gonna have two floors, one right over here, another wall with two wall darts on both sides, the same one as those. Then they block off. This is just for the pathing, so they go there. You're gonna have a floor, a wall. Then you're gonna have this little block off. Make sure to have everything what I have here, or it's not gonna work for you. You have this little block off. The most complex one, which is this one. The same thing. Okay. On the beginning of the tunnel, kind of, I should call it. We have a floor spike. You don't need to be a legacy, it doesn't need to be. You can have a 33 one, an 89 one, or a 5 one. Whatever you want, just to slow them down. Then all of these floor launchers, on this whole row, over here, they're all gonna be 1.5 impact. Exactly these perks. If you have a 2 impact or a 1 impact, it might not work as good. I mean, it shouldn't work as good. Because it might get launched into the lava, or not, it might even not make it down there. Then, the last one, is a 5 impact 144. Doesn't have to be 144. Doesn't matter whatsoever. Then you're gonna have a bug tar pit below this one. And if you wanna know how to do this bug bit, you have to go to my valley video and skip to the end and see how I do it. And yes, you need it. Because it might not work. Then you have a wall launcher down here. Which is a triple impact double reload. Heels boost attached. I forgot to show the Linger stuff, one second guys. Okay. The launching is this of the floor launchers. Then on the amp itself for the flingers. It's gonna be two pillars from this one. Up. These two antires are gonna be uh, quad damage they were healed with attached. This wall launcher is gonna be a Zero impact to reload and heals both stashed. I don't have one, so I'm not showing. And this water is gonna be a this one right here with reload speed. Okay, now this time down here, healing triple impact double reload. And now this geyser build is a little bit small. Sven's geyser. Then we're gonna have this to make them not launch down to the level of this wall launcher right here. And in the cave, we're gonna have a little block called a yard around with a floor freeze on top, which is exactly this one. Okay. Now, for you guys who have your AFK spot in the middle, I'm gonna show you a quick fix. Uh, if you AFK here, of course, the hosts are gonna want to go to you. So you're gonna have to make a path for them as close as to you as possible. You can build up four or five tiles from that point. So this point is closer to you than that point. And then you're gonna put a floor spike on this one. Any of your choice, can be 144, whatever you want to. Even these ones. Cause all of the husks from here are gonna go to you and then suddenly want to go back. But when they hit the floor spike, they're gonna say like, hmm. I might want to go to him again, because he got attracted, kind of. 
it's just gonna be a loop back and forth. Plus, you don't get your Dura use on the field launchers when they hit this one again. That's it, that's it. Hope you guys have a fun time building this. Tell me how it goes in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it. Stay tuned for Devil.